it's racist, right? It's racist. That's how parent Sharon Smith characterizes the controversial One Newark plan that caused raucous rants and walkouts after the state-run district reorganized city schools, closed 13, replaced them with charters, and transferred kids from Newark's mostly minority, poverty-plagued South and West wards to different schools across town. How can you think in your white privilege that it's okay for this group of people who live in HUD housing that they may not have a car. Smith co-founded a group called Pulse, Parents Unified for Local School Education, and asked the federal government to investigate. The result? This November, Newark School District agreed to address the alleged discrimination after the U.S. Department of Education's Office for Civil Rights found the number of African-American students and students with disabilities affected by the school closings in the district effective at the end of the school year 2011 to 2012 was significantly disproportionate as compared to white and other students. That tells you that there's discrimination and that the majority of the black and brown children were not regarded in creating a plan that was supposed to be for them. Under the agreement, the state-controlled school district must submit data showing the feds how kids impacted by One Newark performed academically and what facilities they had available after they were transferred, how it affected their transportation, and whether kids with special needs received proper resources. If they find kids harmed by One Newark, the district must implement plans to fix the problem by next April 30th. I'm excited. I mean, I think the community should be excited. But I think that we need to do our part, too, to make sure that, you know, that they do their job. We commend the federal government for stepping in, especially when you look at the outcome of the One North and how you look at one section of the city mm -hmm. where you could go from beginning of the war to the end of the war in one part and there's no public schools um, available for them children to attend. The district had no comment, but former school board member and charter school advocate Shavar Jeffrey says the schools closed under One Newark had failed their students. And so we had to do something different and I'm glad we did something different and those children are now better off because we did some things differently and so the the disparate racial effects really aren't about the intervention it's about the harm that the intervention was trying to remedy. For kids whose schools got closed or who got shuffled around by the one Newark plan this federal agreement's probably late in coming but for a district that's chafing to regain its autonomy it's validation. In Newark I'm Brenda Flanagan NJTV News.